Good afternoon, friends. It's Wednesday, and um, we are winding down a busy day up at Centenary. I've been working today, working on uh, various live stream uh, efforts um, and uh, getting ready for this coming Easter weekend. Um, I got my old school Centenary coffee mug here. I've been enjoying that, a little decaf. Drinking decaf these days, as you as you might well know, and um, it's been a great week. Thanks for reaching out to me, and it's been good to hear from a lot of y'all. I, I pray you're doing well. I wanted to let you know that um, very soon I'd like to organize a Zoom meeting for the choir. Um, several of you, I'm sure, have since our kind of quarantine time has started, have experienced this phenomenon of virtual meetings. Um, we've had several with the staff team at church council and other things, and uh, it's going well. And I think it would be a fun way for us to get together and see each other's faces and enjoy um, just connecting, catching up on life, celebrating birthdays, and all that kind of good stuff. Um, so look for that. I'll be sending out some information about how we can do that um, sometime here in the next week or so. Look forward to seeing you that way. Uh, I did just want to offer just a quick word of encouragement. Uh, I think I mentioned in one of my earlier um, videos that I was doing some study from the book of John. And uh, I just want to read you a few verses from the very beginning of that book. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made. It has been made. In him was life. And that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. It's a great word for us right now. And, uh, you know, it's halfway through Holy Week. Um, traditionally in the church, we are turning our eyes toward the cross, toward Golgotha, toward Calvary. And uh, we see the darkness of where Christ is headed. Um, but the great good news for me this day is that we are a people of the resurrected Lord. And uh, we sit in an age and a time of great joy, of great hope, because of the power of the Spirit who, who raised Christ from the dead. And we uh, celebrate the forgiveness that that brings to all of our lives, the salvation uh, that he bought for us on a cross, and the absolute uh, mercy that that God has granted all his children, um, the restoration of the universe lies in him. And so uh, let's uh, enjoy this week as we look toward um, the celebration of Easter, uh, and as we finish up this Lenten journey of reflection, um, just knowing that even though many of us, uh, actually folks world around the world are experiencing some dark times right now, the light of Christ shines and nothing can separate us from his love. So just be encouraged by that. And then I just wanted to leave you with a, a, a bit of a worship song. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. It's uh, kind of a sneak peek of one of our services coming up. So um, I hope that that blesses you as well. And you have a great week and I look forward to checking in with you soon. God bless. He became sin who knew no sin that we might become his righteousness. He humbled himself
Messiah. 